this is incredibly important as a fundamental concept for almost everything that we're going to talk about moving forward this idea of iterative refinement so in light of the announcement that's coming that I'll be sharing on GTT probably in January or February where I'm going to give at least the basics of a new machine learning method that we've invented at Merley. And as I'm processing exactly what I'm going to explain about this, what I can share, what I can't share, it dawned on me that there are a number of critical things that all of us should know prior to me explaining this new machine learning method. And so over the course of the next several weeks, I'm going to do VODs that will try to cover enough of the basics such that anyone that watches all of those VODs should minimally at least get the essence of this new machine learning method. And that's part of the reason why I created GTT. Start with something like, oh, so we want to do a search. And what would that look like? We got our problem and we have our solution, our brute force solution. Now, as many of us probably know, this brute force solution, while logically correct, uh, can be really slow if the list of elements is very large and in particular if the element or elements that we're looking for are near the end so essentially the amount of compute required is linearly proportional to the size of the set so this is if we get into kind of nerd terms this has O of N computational complexity yeah I think it's actually O of N divided by 2 but you essentially elide away those uh, constants and so it just is like O of N I think and again I'm not the knower of all things and because we're going to cover so many different topics here like we're starting with machine learning and now we're getting into search and now we're getting into uh asymptotic computational complexity i'm i'm gonna get some stuff wrong because i just have to try to remember all the details so my apologies for anything i miss uh, speak on and please uh, correct me in the comments i i actually deeply appreciate that So the at, the at the very top, this is our root node, what's known as the root node. And then at the very bottom, those are all the leaf nodes. Essentially, they're, you can think of it like a tree. And, and so the top part is the root, the base. And then as you grow it out, when you get to the terminal edges, the terminal uh, nodes, essentially, those are known as, uh, as leaves. So the way this works is we have our binary tree and we're looking for some value. Step one is it will look at the root node 
and see that the value we're looking for is less than this value. So it'll cut the tree in half, uh, discard everything on the right, including the root node, and then continue. Step two is it will look at this node, see that the value now is uh, greater than uh, this node. It will then split this tree in half, uh, toss everything that's on the left side, and step down again. It'll step down to this node here. It will do the comparison. It will see the value we're looking for is less than this value. It will cut this tree in half, discard this, and then it will uh, it will actually do the comparison because it's possible that this is not an exact match. Uh, so you still need to do the equality check. And then it will see, in this case, that it is equal to this node, and it will return this element. All right. So we just went through a lot of effort to explain how we essentially get algorithms from human refined data. This is incredibly important as a fundamental concept for almost everything that we're gonna talk about moving forward. This idea of iterative refinement.